Hello all, in this video we are going to see how to host PHP website. In this website, triple zero web host, we are just going to host our website. Okay, the e-commerce website whatever we have created, when I hosted this one, it is not supporting sessions. Okay, if you are having your own domain and if you are having your hosting provider, then if it is supported that you can host two to three websites, then you can host there. And if you are able to host in this website itself, then let me know as well. Because when I tried to host this in my domain, my entire website got down and I have to pay a lot of money. So I have stopped that one. So this is the reason what I'm going to do. I'm just going to host this simple website as of now so that you, you will be able to get the steps and you can try from your end. Okay, if you are not getting and even if you are not able to host that website, then let me know in comments so, so that I can find different solutions and I will try to host that website free. Definitely it was taking a lot of time. It took more than 72 hours to get it uploaded. But when it got uploaded, I was not able to view the entire thing. I was getting some errors. Okay, so to find different solutions, definitely I will take time. But if you are able to host the website online, then let me know as well. Okay, so what I am going to do? Okay, I will be hosting the simple PHP CRUD operation. Okay, you can see here I am just writing Seema. Here I will be writing Seema at gmail.com. Password 1234. Mobile number, I will just write this one. Add details. See the detail has been added. Now when I click on this update, I can update the data. All the fields related to Seema will be displayed. Here I will just write Seema 1. I will click on update. Now you can see here data updated successfully. Now inside Gmail I am having seema1 at gmail.com. This project we are just going to host in this triple zero web host. Okay for that I have just created one simple email. Okay you can see test123 example 890 at gmail.com. Using this we are just going to sign in to this website. Okay the steps whatever I am telling you can follow the same steps to host that e-commerce website as well. I will just click on this. Okay, if you have already logged in, then directly you can log in. But if you are hosting in this for free, then you can host only one website. Okay, if you want to host two to three websites, then you have to pay for this. Okay, this is the interface of this one. You can see here we are having free web hosting, zero rupees. You don't have to pay anything. And one website is supported. Only this particular space we will be getting. Okay, whenever you are uploading, you see the size of the project. And this was also one drawback. I was not able to upload all the things, all the images because of space. And you can see here you are having multiple plans. If you want to take any one of this, you can take. Okay. If you want to just upload, you can just take any one of this plan or you can just go for free. Okay. But if you are a student and if you just want to do for yourself, then you don't have to pay. You can just go for free website and you can try from your end. Okay. Now I'll just click on sign in. Okay, this uh, email I have created, I am just going to pass that email here. Now here I will just log in with Google. I am just going to select this one, test, test example. This account I have selected. Okay, now here you can see, here there is, here I am having this, my email account. And here it is not my first radio, take me to the panel, okay, below we are having this one. Just click on that and here they will be asking you the project name. So here I will be giving PHP CRUD and this is the password. Okay, as of now I am just going to copy this. I will just submit this one. Okay, they are going to generate the password. So you don't have to give. I will just click on submit. I will just open notepad. Okay, anyways this password will not be useful but still I am just going to paste somewhere. not been accepted so you can give different name okay it's loading let it load okay you can see website has been created now here i'm having choose our website builder install wordpress and upload your site okay you don't have to do first option you can directly click on this upload your site or you can just come to home page as of now i'll just click on this select okay directly we are just uploading or else you can just come to home page that also I will show you you can see we are redirected to file manager okay if you don't want to come here you can just come to uh, this website okay this is the home page and here we are having this website 
you can see we are having view site and also we are having this details now when i just click on this details all the details related to this website will be displayed you can see this is the details of this website entire thing is been displayed i'll just close this one and here we are having this manage website this link whatever you can see this is our website link i'll just click on this as of now we are not having any content so it is just going to display this one okay we don't want to display this we just want to display our project so here we are having this manage website i'll just click on this and once i click on this okay let it load you can see this is our dashboard we will be redirected to this dashboard and here we are having this file manager i'll just click on this file manager okay you can see we are redirected to same page okay i'll close this this is the file manager now inside this inside this public html there should be one file with the name index.html or index.php okay so here we are having this upload files you can create folders you can create files okay whatever you want you can do now wherever i am having this project inside this ht docs i am just going to select all the files i am just going to drag here okay now all the files are here i'll just click on upload okay you can also zip this file and later on you can unzip here or you can directly drag and drop okay it completely depends on your choice now you can see here i am having one file with the name index.php okay now once uploading is done i'll just come to home page now inside this i'll just click on sign in as soon as i click on sign in i have already signed in so i will be redirected to my dashboard you can see here i am having this i'll just copy now i'll just click on this website now you can see the entire html okay the front end part is been displayed but this database is not getting displayed because still we have not connected to database but here you can see here we will be having this watermark but front end whatever data i am having inside that website that is been displayed live okay inside you can see https it is also secure and we are having this whatever name we have given that one and this is the domain name and this will be our website name you can see php crud and you will be having this 000 whost.com and .com okay if you are buying you can give your own domain name of your choice now what i am going to do i'll just come to home page i'll just click on this manage website okay the same process you just follow and you try to upload that website as well right side we are having build a website we are having this tools just click on that here we are having file manager inside file manager we have already uploaded the files now i'll just click on database manager okay now inside this we are just going to create the database you can see here we will be having this interface just click on new database i'll just give the database name as crud operation then database username let me just write here khanam123 then this is the password i'll just copy this one let me just show i'll copy this password and inside this i'm just going to paste okay this is my website password and this is my database password now i'll just click on create now you can see it is creating database and it will be taking 1 to 2 minutes to create okay this is our database name this is our username this is our local host you can see server name and the password whatever i have copied that is my password once it is done i will be telling you how to connect to the database now you can see the database is been created once it is created here you will be having this manage button just click on that and inside this we are having this php my admin i'll just click on that okay the same interface whatever we are having here php my admin the same will be opened here i'll just show you okay because my entire system got crash that is why it is taking lot of time you can see the same interface whatever we are having here okay the previous one whatever we have seen using xamp the same is been opened here you can see we are having only this crud operation and this id 1913 okay this entire thing is the database name okay this database value it is been given by this website itself okay now it is still loading let it load you can see this is the same interface and we are our server is local host and it is using 3306 port we are having this database now inside this database we are not having anything we don't have any data so inside this database okay whatever database we you have created here for your project you can see here i am having this database crud operation i'll just click on this crud operation 
here we are having this export and import i am just going to export this one exporting rows from crud table i will just click on this go ok i am not able to export you just export here once it is downloaded just come here just come to this import this one and wherever you are having that file just click select that file i will just show you just choose the file from here it will be in dot sql you can see dot sql and wherever you are having that file just select that and click on open after that just click on go the data and the tables whatever you are having that will be imported here so for me it is not getting here i am having network error but still i am connected to wi-fi but still it's showing me the error i'll just close this one now inside this i'm just going to create the table okay instead of importing i'm just going to create the table i'll just give here five i'll just click on go okay this is the table i have used in my project so whatever tables you have created inside this you can just create that one okay it will just take two to three minutes i'll just write here user id username then email then mobile then finally password for all this i'm just going to give varchar okay this entire steps you don't have to follow if it is getting imported okay for me i am facing lot of issues in my system so that is the reason i am not able to do lot of things here but for you it will not be a problem okay i'll just click on go okay now table is created i'll just click on save please enter the valid length okay i have to give the length as well okay random length i'm just giving here i'll just give here 10 i'll just click on save okay now my database table is created here i'm having database name you can see this is my database name this is my table so now what i'm going to do i'll just come to my file manager inside this partials folder i am having this connect file okay where we have connected to the database and where we have written the entire code okay this is our entire code now this will be same our username will be this one okay i'll just show you inside this whatever username we are having i'm just going to copy that and inside this i'm just going to paste that username then password is whatever i have copied i'll just come here i'll copy the second password and inside this i'm just going to paste that one okay and this is the database name i'll just come here and i'll just copy this database name okay you just have to do this modification wherever you are having this connect file you just have to pass this values i'll just click on save save and close now it will be closed now i have done i'll just come to this website i'll refresh this one now you can see that error has gone and i am successfully connected to the database now here i'm just going to write my name khanam email is khanam123 at gmail.com password 1234 mobile i'll just give this add details data inserted successfully never you can see the data is been displayed okay here i am having one error undefined indexed id so let me just come here i'll just change this one okay because in my project i have used id so here i'll just change that one to use instead of user id i'll just give here id okay if you have not understood the steps you can just revisit the video and you can just follow the same process and you can upload that e-commerce website okay even i will be trying from my end once it is uploaded successfully then definitely i will be recording the video for that and i will be uploading that one as well okay only for your understanding i'm just uploading this one because many people are messaging me in instagram to host to show how to host the website so i have just done this now i'll just come here i'll refresh this okay this error whatever it was there it has gone i'll just click on update now you can see the data i'm having here khanam12 update data updated successfully okay okay everything is hosted live you can see it is hosted live https now i'll just come here i'll come to database i'll refresh this one i'll just click on this crud you can see the data has been inserted inside this database okay password has been hashed and i have uploaded this complete video okay this entire crud in my udemy channel if you want you can just revisit that one okay this is our project that has been uploaded live okay as of now i'll be deleting this website from here and i will be uploading my e-commerce website if i don't delete this and if we okay this can be seen in our mobile as well okay as of now i'll be deleting this later on once my e-commerce website is successfully uploaded i will be recording the session for that and i will be uploading here 
okay whatever we have done i'll just repeat that things first we have just signed into this website once it is done you can see inside your email also you will be receiving one message come to www host welcome to this website and you are success okay this message will be getting so we have signed into that website inside file manager we have uploaded all the files inside this public html inside this public html there should be one file with the name index.php or index.html now suppose if i just rename this one instead of this if i just write here home home.php i'll rename this now i'll just come to this website and just refresh this one you can see i will be redirected to this page so it is very very important one file name should be index.php or index.html i'll just rename this to index.php i'll rename this now i'll come here now if i just refresh this one our project will be displayed then after that just come to your home page wherever you are having home page inside that tools okay inside tools we are having this database manager just create new database and username will be given and whatever database name you are having that will be given password whatever it will be showing just copy that password and paste somewhere and just click on this manage database you can either export whatever tables you are having you can either import the database and tables or you can directly create that one inside this interface okay inside this php my admin you can create after that you just have to come to file manager wherever we are having this connect file just open that file and edit the database name username password okay edit everything and just click on save and close okay once it is done it will be successfully completed and you will be able to insert all the data delete the data update the data everything you can perform okay the same steps you have to follow to host php website online okay this is how we are going to host website for free okay there are plenty and plenty of websites like we are having infinity free in that also you can try from your end okay i have just hosted in this okay, in this for free you will be getting this one watermark okay if you need i will be showing you in infinity free as well how to host okay if you want i will be telling you how to host in infinity free as well but in this session we have hosted our website live and we can see our entire result okay that's all for this session thank you for listening have a great day